Did Trey just tag himself in? What is he thinking? Trey with his version of the Purple Rainmaker. And it's all over. Trey and Velveteen advance to the finals of the Dusty Classic. Look at this clown celebrating like he accomplished something. He stole the win from Velveteen Dream. All that matters is they won and they're advancing. And look, Velveteen approves. Yeah, well, I don't. Welcome to NXT TakeOver, where we have huge breaking news. Red has officially been cleared to compete for the NXT Women's Championship against Candice LeRae and Rhea Ripley, who brutally attacked Red just a few weeks ago. In addition to that enormous match, we also have the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, where Trey and Velveteen Dream will take on the Viking Raiders. Well, Byron, in all your excitement, you forgot to mention that since the Women's Championship match is back to a triple threat, that also means it'll be no disqualification which, if you ask me, only means trouble for Candice and Ren. Hey, I heard the good news, you were cleared, but uh, you sure you're okay? I'm only sure of one thing. I'm going to annihilate Rhea Ripley. She almost took everything from me, but her mistake was she stopped at almost. Tonight, I won't stop. At least your match is no DQ. That way you can take care of Rhea and still win the title, so that's good. Ooh. I'd say it's very good. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, the dream's reflection is beautiful. Right. Well, that trophy could be ours, but I was thinking we still don't feel like a real team. And a big part of that is because we don't have matching outfits like all the great tag teams throughout history. So... I went and had these made. I hope you like them. I love them.
We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. These three women have crossed paths before, but never with so much on the line. Yeah, a big match on the Indies can put you on the map. The Mae Young Classic can kickstart a career, but becoming NXT Women's Champion can define a career. But do you guys forget cover by the champ? I'm calling an audible now. Why? She had it right where he wanted her. Shoulders down now, is it enough? Why? She had it right where he wanted her. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, saw it coming. Drop kick from behind. Ouch. On a leg drop, Bulldog. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, Black Widow. Locked in tight. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Next line. What a maneuver! And she's back in the ring now. Reverses. Can she take advantage? Boom! What a forearm! Finds a way to reverse. Whoa, it's another reversal. Oh, kick right in the gut. Close line over the top. Man. Leaving the ring here may change the entire complexion of this match. Oh, nasty impact. This isn't looking good for her, guys. No, it's not, Michael. She looks absolutely out of it. In a big boot. And scissors Ooh, take down. Oh, oh. Very nice. Looks to me, guys, like the champ has no plans on losing the title anytime soon. She's gaining momentum here, guys. She's efficient and dangerous with her offense thus far. She's really relying on that object a lot now. And I can't say that I blame her. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Harsh impact. Oh, nasty impact. Oh. <laughs> Harsh impact. Proving tough to catch. Again with it. She's showing no mercy tonight. Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Simply said, this is going to be a great match. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Changes her fortune there. She just keeps using that. Hey, what, you? Oh, what impact. Big boot. Oh. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh, what impact. Oh. <laughs> Locked in the cross face. She's got her where she wants her. And Corey, she releases the hold. Looks like a questionable decision on paper, but I'm sure she has something up her sleeve here, Cole. She returns the favor there. is on display. She's really relying on that object a lot now. And I can't say that I blame her. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. 
An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Big boot! Hit the mark with that one. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. Nobody can match up with this woman when she's on a roll like this. Nobody. She kicked out there. Up in a vertical suplex. Taking all the time in the world. The blood rushing into the head. This is going to have a bad ending. Down with the vertical suplex. Whack. My boy gives new meaning to have a seat. Gets her again. Man, she really knows how to handle herself, huh? Section sunset. Guillotine applied. This could be it. She works her way out of that one. She's still got a bit of an uphill climb here, though. Boom! Right in the button. She ducks out of the way there. Oh, she turns it around. There it is. Did you hear that crack? She wants her. Harsh input. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping. I think. Decision. I like it a lot, Cole. She clearly wants to inflict even more punishment here. Oh, look at the power. Look at this. My goodness, this is how you establish control. Are you kidding me? All night long. And she's back in the ring now. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Oh, Rhea's 
ready here. This is a battle over. I love this. That is a great reversal. Well scouted reversal there. Again with it. She's showing no mercy tonight. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. the shoulder up. She just will not give up, Cole. Changes her fortune there. Uh-oh. Oh. Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. Looking stunned. Looking rocked. To the outside. What an incredible move. Look glazed over. Two home runs and the champion into the cover. One, two, three. Red's done it. She's overcome what could have been a career ending injury to become the new NXT women's champion. We just witnessed one of the gutsiest performances in NXT history. Be the first to admit I was wrong about Red. This was no fluke tonight. She earned every ounce of the gold she now holds in her hands. And there you see Red crossing this achievement off her list. One of many significant things she may go on to cross off in her career. A truly inspiring moment. For the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen Dream make their entrance together. Uh, and they've got brand new matching gear. Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as their team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two aren't on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders are going to slaughter them. Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Oh, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders. But what's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, Corey, Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, but always delivers when the bell rings. So why can't Trey do the same thing? Well, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're going to put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament we could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready.
As this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic final match gets underway, both of these teams look to join a prestigious group of previous winners. Yeah, the first tournament in 2015 included a star-studded field that was won by the team of Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. That's right. Other teams that have their names etched on the trophy include the Authors of Pain and the Undisputed Era. Look, I'm sorry, but the team of Trey and Velveteen Dream doesn't belong among the names you mentioned. The Viking Raiders, however, fit quite nicely. Well, before we just go hand out a trophy to anyone, let's see what happens in this match. Exploder suplex! And here we go now. Elbow drop! As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars often try to try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, firing it. NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Hook them up. Quick pin. Is this it? Wow. A dubious decision there for sure. Elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, Dream over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent. Looking to make a much needed tag here. And if successful, we may be looking at a whole new match here. Look out, he's almost there. If he doesn't make the tag, they're in big trouble here, Cole. Almost just a little bit further. Come on now, almost there. Don't give up now. And there's the tag, turning the momentum to his favor. Just a steady dose of punishment on display. Tagged in. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Side rush and leg sweep. Ooh, well measured. How impressive was that reversal? Very competitive tag team match. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in the corner standing quick pin. Can he do it? Look at a steal one there, perhaps. Still a lot more fight left. Good golly, what a knee. He's got the shoulders down. And another kick out. So resourceful. Boom, oh, nice. Uh oh, running senton. In off the tag. Velveteen Dream has essentially sacrificed Trey to their opponents. He has no chance. It's over.
sorry, but I'm shocked at what just happened. Well, face it, guys. The better team won just like I thought they would. And maybe we're going to get an explanation from Velveteen Dream. This is on you, partner. You called the dream out, and you questioned the dream's authenticity. But the dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The dream already knew that there was only one dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, I considered letting you win this thing because the dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success. But then, you repeatedly stole the dream's spotlight, leeching off the dream's moves, the dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of battery. Oh no, uh, are those handcuffs? Train of the ropes, just like how this all started. This is getting ugly. The man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Look, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble. Uh, pardon me, Red, Trey, you both have huge matches tonight. Do you have a second to comment? No. Yeah, we do. So Candice LeRae has invoked her rematch clause in an Iron Woman match. Now, after everything you've been through, are you ready for your first NXT women's title defense? Well, considering I'll actually be able to see this time, I think I'm more than ready. Trey, you are going to face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple Rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it. 